I mean, this whole business of Shire Free Church and you being a minister, it seems a little bit freak show to me. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Is there any, um, you, you had indicated that they were threatening to send him to a different jail if he, if oh, he didn't yes. uh, behave like a better kindergartner. <laughs> a little, um, little bird, former jailbird who was released, told me he overheard a conversation in booking that the order's already been signed if Rich complains again about his lack of religious freedom discriminated against his choice of minister that Rich is getting shipped to another jail, maybe Grafton. We'll go find him a minister okay. somewhere else across so the state. Okay, so this is where I have to bring up my, my uh, uh, you know, dissent against, uh, when, this whole business of Shire Free Church and you being a minister, it seems a little bit freak show to me. Well, a little uh, non-traditional for the roots other churches are going. With the intention, one of the main intentions is to get ministers to be able to visit people in jail. Not for them to only have, uh, let's say, a Catholic or a Christian priest who's a stranger to them, who they don't want a conversation with, never mind spiritual matters. You should have a minister who you already have a relationship with come into the jail and help you in spiritual matters. But the jail looks at that as, keep that person out of here. They're going to bring contraband or something. Yeah, but I mean, there's already plenty of people accusing us of being a cult. Doesn't this kind of play into their hands? Yeah, I, I can see that side of the debate. If they think it's only for the purpose of visiting the jail. Oh, ben Wickler actually just dubbed us um, a Trojan horse <laughs> trying to infiltrate the jail. Through Let rich? it be known, the Shire Free Church is a Trojan horse <laughs> oh, for the see. purpose of infiltration. <laughs> All right, that's a good quote. I can use that. <laughs> well, I look forward to being able to talk to Van Wickler in person about this when I bump into him at some point, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to go too far out of my way. And, you know, I, uh, uh, I would like to just call him and ambush interview him over the phone. Not showing up to discuss the truth, like I said before. But after what happened to Damo Freeman for your recording bureaucrats on the phone, and, and because of the vagaries of the law, I'm just refusing to inter interact with him on the phone because I don't know if I can record or not. So you know, probably land it probably under the law. I can if I inform them, but uh, too too bad, Rick. You don't get to you don't get to make your your viewpoint known on my channel until I bump into you in person, or you give me permission to to film. And to record the call. And I'm not going to call to find out. All right, Wendy, thanks for the time and uh, thanks for helping Rich. Absolutely. He needs visits, he needs love. Put it out there. Because he's having difficulty. It's difficult for him to live without marijuana. Some people just, it, it's harder for them than others. Sure is. Life without medicine is rough. All right. Thanks, Wendy. Yep, definitely. I should also actually provide my own Rich Paul related update. Um, a while back, I uh, sent uh, Rich uh, some mail in jail, and um, he responded uh, by with a request that I um, maybe give him all the information I have about Phil Christiana because he was thinking about suing Phil Christiana. I don't know if he's planning on uh, following through with that uh, or not, but I did send him everything I had about Phil Christiana, which is basically a bunch of web posts. You know, everything I know about him, I had already put put on the web. So I sent him copies of all those web posts. Maybe that'll make it easier for him to uh, to sue the Phoebe. And, and Wendy, actually, you had an update yourself with regard to Phil Christiana. So tell me what. Right. Um, Rich is always looking for anybody to reach out if they have been contacted or approached by. Phil Christiana in any way. The number of free staters that have been approached or spoken to is getting out of control. Pretty shocking. Um, both high profile activists and lower profile. Um, so so they, we want to we want to get sort of a 
all the information that all the people have collected about Phil Christiana and their interactions with him. Yes. Okay. When did he talk to you? What was the conversation like? Did he ask you to wear a wire? Talk to your friends, you know? For him. Right, and the thing we also have to keep in mind, there may be some conversations that have happened where the person is threatened, like if they have revealed that the conversation happened, then they will have something happen to them that's bad. So that's possible either through national security letter, letters or other means that there may be conversations that have happened that we don't know about. Right. Yeah. Maybe they haven't come forward until they know how many people really have been spoken to. Right. Be a little braver. All right, thanks, Wendy. Mm -hmm. So, so he, he does want that publicized that he's seeking information about Phil Christian. Absolutely. Okay, good. Thanks. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.